Jennifer, I feel like it's been so long since I've <laughs> seen you. I miss you. Of course, though, I love hearing your voice and you telling us about the weather. Oh, thank you, Francis. I miss you too. It's been uh, quite some time, yes, uh, because, well, working from home and I don't get to see you because uh, I don't get to go to the station much. Uh, but here in South Florida, if you're going inside or staying inside and either going outside, it's actually beautiful out there. So you want to just peek outside. Uh, maybe you don't want to head out because it's hot. Understandable. It's definitely hot. It's feeling like the triple digits, but wow, it is a nice summer day here in South Florida. So I say if you can get some fresh air, go outside for a walk, just a quick one, but make sure you drink water. Keep yourself hydrated because we are in the middle of the day and this is when it's the hottest. So this is what it feels like in Fort Lauderdale. It feels like a scorching 104 degrees. Now the actual temperatures on the map, as you can see, we're in the low 90s for the most part, 89 in Homestead. Check it out, Weston at 93 degrees. So there's plenty of sunshine. Uh, now there is that easterly breeze. It's getting a bit stronger in Miami at 14 miles per hour. Now near Miami, there have been a few of these showers rolling on shore but as you can see these are actually dissipating earlier in the late morning hours a few of these small showers sun showers made their way over parts of miami beach and near the port of miami here's a look at the short-term model forecast so we have the east breeze going that's going to push showers and thunderstorms inland i th still think the far western cities can still get some of these uh th some of the rainfall from these thunderstorms but for the most part the action is over the everglades or out west but uh the model is now trying to show a strong thunderstorm that may develop and if that happens there could be what's called an outflow boundary coming off of it that could go move back to the east coast so by this evening there could be a leftover shower or just some cloud cover out there but uh, it is absolutely gorgeous if you want to head to the beach maybe it's not a work day for you use that sunscreen and the rip current risk is low no advisories for boaters the seas around two feet and less than that the bays at a light chop so it's nice to be out and about drier air is with us most of the moisture is to the north of us but this is going to change as we head towards the second half of the week we're going to, going to get a bump of moisture and that's going to bring up the rain chances starting on Thursday.